Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, as you can probably tell by my voice, I am so sick. I have stopped whimpering, but I'm still panting. So hopefully we can look past that because today I wanna to do a video about makeup for sick days. I think as an adult, there are days where you're expected to suck it up and face the world. If I were to assess the damage today, I am feeling so puffy. I just feel like a big ball just rolling around the house. My eyes are quite bloodshot and my skin is so parched and flaky. Not one word of a lie. Yesterday, I was shedding like a snake. It was disgusting, but it was also pretty satisfying. I won't lie. To address that flakiness on my skin, I have cleansed this morning with the MV Skincare Gentle Cream Cleanser and I have removed it with a washcloth and warm water. I think that this is the best way to remove a lot of surface flakiness, so that's good. For foundation today, I'm going to be using MAC Face and Body. Now, in my experience, this is the best foundation on the market for seriously flaky skin. It seems to gloss over any dry texture. The best way to apply face and body is really with your fingers and working it in quite vigorously. My skin type is easily reddened, and if I were to do that, I would be a tomato, and I would require so much coverage, so clearly that's not an option for me. I'm going to pop a bit on the back of my hand and work it until I start to feel those fill formers thick up. At that point, I kind of stripe it onto my skin and dab with a beauty blender to blend. Face and body is quite a perplexing formula like that. The more you work it, the more coverage you get. Um, I don't pretend to understand it. I don't ask questions. It's just magic. That's how it works. If you're not a fan of sheen in a foundation, I don't think that you will like this one. It does have quite a bit of luminosity, but um, I think I need that today because I am feeling so dry. I've gone for a pretty sheer coverage today. I don't have the energy or the inclination to look perfect. I just want to look better. Uh, for under eye concealer, if you are puffy like I am, I say give your whole uh, serious under eye highlight a miss. It'll bring things forward, whereas when you're puffy, you really want to recede that area. So I'm just using a concealer that is about my skin tone. It is no lighter. While I'm here, I might just put a little bit on the tip of my nose because I'm a bit red there. and Maybe a little bit around the nostrils because if you've been blowing your nose half as much as me, the situation is serious. <laughs> and I'm just using a finger to blend that. Oh. I feel better already, I can recognize this person in the mirror. Now, I'm really feeling this highlighted skin. Highlighted skin is my thing at the moment. So I'm going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecta in Pearl, and it is a white highlight. This is my favorite out of all the shades. I'm gonna run that on the tops of the cheekbones, maybe a bit on the cupid's bow, maybe a bit all over my face, I don't know. Oh, look at it, oh my God. Is the camera picking that up? Oh my God. Makeup makes me happy. I think some people will be like, if you're really that sick, don't apply makeup. But I think makeup does make me happy and a little bit of makeup makes me feel a little bit fresher. And then you can also avoid all those comments like, you look so sick today, you look so tired today. No, that's me without makeup. <laughs> I think that highlight is well blended. This just makes me happy. I am reflecting. Now onto the brows. If you have fabulous brows, then I'm really jealous and you can just get away with a brush. Me, I could spend 15 minutes on my brows, but I'm not going to. I'm just filling in the tail portion of my brow, extending it a little bit, uh, hitting any bald patches, but I'm keeping it really minimal today. I'm gonna to quickly set these brows with some clear brow gel. I think I'm running a temperature, so excuse me if I get a little bit rosy. Now, when I'm sick, the first thing to go is eyeshadow. I generally can't be bothered, but I am going to do it today just in case you are that way inclined. I also want to use this new baby. It's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Now, this is all mattes, and if you're puffy on the eyes, I think mattes are a good option. They will recede any puffy areas. I'm also going to pick cooler shades. So these sort of grayish browns. I find if I have really bloodshot eyes and I try to put something warm or orangey or red on them, I, I look like a rabbit. I look like I have pink eye. I'm going to first take one of these bone shades and run it all over the lid just to mute any redness on the lid. 
Keeping it simple, I'm going to take this sort of uh, light grey shade. I think this would actually be a fabulous contour for a pale skin tone. I'm just going to run that through the socket. Ooh, these shadows are beautiful. I like it. Bit of a smaller brush now and I'm mixing these two to create a sort of medium ash brown and swirling that in the outer corners. Nothing too much, just a little bit of extra depth. I will also take a mixture of these two shades and very softly shade the lower lash line. I know this probably sounds like something that would be a bad idea, something that would make you look tired, but if your lower lash line is quite puffy, these contour, cooler grey shades will recede the lower lash line. Last step for the eyeshadow, you all know that I love a little bit of tear duct highlight on the eyes. So I'm taking a, um, this is Mary Luminizer, so a facial highlight and just lightly dusting that in the inner corners. I think that this makes me look so much more awake. I might also take a little bit of that and just dot it in the center of the lid. And I'm going to leave the eyeshadow there. I will give my lashes a quick curl. I always curl my lashes, no matter how sick I am. If I'm leaving the house, my lashes are curled. I think it makes the face look so much more fresh and awake. For mascara, if you are weepy when you are sick like I am, definitely use a waterproof mascara. Um, this one is by Makeup Studio. I picked it up while I was in the Netherlands. I will add a little bit on the lower lashes. Lucky last step for the eyes, I'm taking a nude eyeliner through the lower waterline. And this is just to knock back any of that redness that can develop. Okay, and for the lips, I'm using one of the YSL Kiss and Blush little lip and cheek thingies. I really like these. I know they got quite mixed reviews online, but I'm a massive fan. It doesn't make my lips look really cracked or like carpet, so it's a good one for today. Also, this shade, number eight, is such a face brightening shade. It just lights up my face. I also tried it on my mother, who admittedly has a similar skin tone to me, but her face just looks so radiant, so highly recommend the shade eight. I'm also going to add a little bit of this onto the cheeks. Now, as I said earlier, I'm feeling kind of feverish and my cheeks are really red, but um, I know that many people complain of being sallow when they're sick. So I'm just gonna take one for the team <laughs> and show you how this looks on the cheeks. It is really beautiful. I will lightly dab it in the areas where I want it. And then I like to take a synthetic brush and just diffuse the edges. Yeah, I'm one of the few people that felt as though this formula worked equally well. <laughs> what? I'm one of the few people that thought that this formula worked equally well on the lips and the cheeks. Oh, I got there eventually. So quite a rosy look today. My own rosiness plus some extra. Now, the next step is totally optional, okay? But I feel as though my face becomes my neck and there is no suggestion of a jawline here because my glands are so swollen. So I'm going to do a little bit of contour, just a little, I swear. This is a cream contour because my base is very dewy. So if I were to put on a powder now, it would un adhere unevenly. I'll get there. Um, I'm using this contour shade here on a small synthetic brush and just lightly shading underneath my jaw bone, my jawline. <laughs> Things are declining really quickly, guys. Okay. Something a little bit like that. Now I know no one else notices this sort of thing, but I notice it and it makes me feel better, so I do it. I will quickly just powder some areas of the face. I do want to retain this luminosity, but um, it's probably just a little bit much for me right now. Just kind of the sides of the nose. Also a bit under the eyes to set that concealer. That is pretty much the makeup done. I'll go quickly add some flowers to my hair because I think that uh, some sort of adornment detracts from a multitude of sins. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see next in the comment section below. I hope that you are all having a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye bye.